My name is Luis Perez Oramas, and I work at the Museum of Modern Art in New York as a curator of Latin American art, also in the Department of Drawings and Prints. And I am a writer and a curator and an art historian. Uh, well, I am, uh, MoMA is, is, a, is, a, is a very complex institution with uh, several curatorial departments. But those departments have always, always been organized following a, a structure uh, based on, on, on mediums, media. What uh, the, the original structure of MoMA as a museum is that uh, the institution addresses its projects as well as its collection uh, following this logic that the material history of the uh, works is what matters. Uh, donc, uh, it is about supports and genre. Uh, and these departments are media and performance, film, architecture and design, photography, drawings and prints, and painting and sculpture. So, I um, basically uh, am in charge of advising about what. Uh, uh, what kind of acquisitions of Latin American art the museum should do. Uh, this is a process of dialogue with my colleagues in other departments. It also is, is, is grounded in, in my study of the collection that MoMA has gathered since its foundation, which is a specificity at MoMA. MoMA it was not only the first museum of modern art in the Western Hemisphere, but uh, and, and, and kind of model of modern art museums in the world, but it also is starting to collect uh, Latin American art since the foundation. So the Latin American art collection at MoMA began in 1930. And uh, it is probably the most comprehensive and large collection of Latin American art in the world. Uh, I, I have to say that MoMA also labeled and invented the term Latin American art. Then uh, I work as a curator at MoMA. That means that I propose exhibitions on Latin American art, but also on other kind of art. I mean, I, I am free to propose exhibitions about, you know, on a Catalonian artist or a Polish artist. Obviously, I am aware that the gaps in terms of you know, the knowledge of Latin American art is so big in the US and, and at the moment that I basically propose uh, exhibitions and acquisitions from Latin America. As a curator at MoMA, I work in the Department of Trauma and some Prints, uh, and I am involved in the, all the discussions regarding exhibition projects, uh, projects, acquisitions, etc. Uh, then I propose uh, exhibitions. I mean, that's, a, that's also, uh, and I, I just uh, organized with my fellow co curator Connie Butler a retrospective of Ligia Clark that happened at MoMA last year, and I am in the process of, of organizing a retrospective of Joaquin Torres Garcia at MoMA. So I think that's briefly what I do at MoMA. Well, I, I, I am, well, I think the best way to be a curator is to gather a deep and comprehensive knowledge of art history. Not only Latin American art history, but art history. But to, but to accompany that knowledge with uh, a constant, ceaseless training of the eye. The best curators, in my humble opinion, are those who know how to think through the eyes, who know that there is something in the visible world that can be expressed through language. It's not that that is the only goal, but the specificity of the visual, that that the world of language can address, is that thing that is purely visual and is also a form of thinking. 
So I think the best exhibitions are those that are compelling because they're academic or scholar or knowledge background, but also those that are uh, compelling and, and convincing because their own visuality, their own, their, their own. And so for Latin American art, I always think that, and for any form of art, that the best way to learn is to travel, is to visit museums and galleries, is to visit artists with time to spend with them and not five minutes, and to know that we never end looking at things. From the moment that you think that you have seen and that you don't need to see anymore, you have failed. But if you think, if you are convinced, and if you leave the, 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 the fact that you will never end seeing, that you, then you will success as a corrector. That's what I think. <laughs>